over at Summertime Rocket Plant. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia Nursery talking about how to transplant a Lord Baltimore hibiscus. Gotta love that garden. One of the things that we're always striving for is summer color. Sometimes in some people's gardens as it gets hotter and the days get longer, more humidity, some of the gardens just don't look as folliferous as they should. But I have the plant for you. It's Lord Baltimore hibiscus or one of the hibiscus mushidos varieties. So we're gonna talk about how to transplant one. We've gone down to the garden center. We're gonna look for one of these great mushidos varieties. The variety I actually have with me is from the Fleming hibiscus program. Okay, we've dug our hole about twice the size of the container. Gently turn her upside down, pull the pot off. Look at that great root system. This is what we're looking for in a plant. Gently keeping your hand underneath her bottom. Place her into the hole. Centralize her. Now, what's really important is use organic mulch, whether it's compost from your own garden or something you've bought at the local garden center, a nice mulch. Mix that 50-50 with your own soil because what happens when the roots come out from the plant, they'll come into a mulch they recognize and they start to get used to your native soil. Okay, in we go. This is the fun part. You can almost feel that plant talking to you in appreciation. Don't forget the slow release fertilizer. About halfway through the process, a little bit of slow release fertilizer in there. Okay, more mulch. This hibiscus has dinner plate sized flowers. Just fantastic. And they last one or two days, but they keep blooming and blooming and blooming. All the neighbors will stop by your house and say, what is that plant? It's absolutely fantastic. And they get pretty tall, like sort of four, maybe four and a half feet high. Right, we're nearly there. A little more fertilizer. Now we're going to make a well around the plant. And the idea of the well is to hold the water in so it goes straight to the root ball right from the start. We're going to pretend we're watering. And then lastly, glug, 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 water all around the plant. Water her in nicely. When she gets going in the summertime, they grow really quickly. And they like a lot of food and they like to be kept on the moist side. So anytime you start to see her wilting or looking dry, make sure you give her a drink. You've got to have one of these in your garden, whether it's Lord Baltimore or another hibiscus mushidus variety, check out the local garden center and see what they have. So you've got to have that summer color in your garden and this is one of the plants that can do it for you. Gorgeous, gorgeous plant. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia Nursery talking about how to transplant a Lord Baltimore hibiscus.